This is research done by a team at Harvard Medical School that we know well. This is what they did. They took a, made a neuron in a dish model. Basically, they made little mini brains in the lab. And then they infected them with herpes viruses. The, those same viruses from the family of Epstein-Barr virus that have, uh, you know, a number of those, you know, variations on, on the family of herpes viruses. They did that. And what they showed was that the Alzheimer's plaque, and, and I think we all know that in Alzheimer's disease, the driver or what we understand is part of driving the disease process is the buildup of an amyloid plaque in the brains of patients with Alzheimer's disease that is at the root of the disease process and the inflammation and the neuro tangles that occur as people get sicker and sicker. What they showed in these neuron and a dish models is that the amyloid plaque actually functioned as an antimicrobial peptide, which is basic part of the human immune response that forms in response to infections. So what was happening was that this plaque was actually being seeded in response to infections that were in the dish. And so this is a paradigm shift in thinking, which is that the Alzheimer's plaque might not just be accumulating for no reason. It might be accumulating because it has a function. Pathogens, viruses, or bacteria gradually get into our brain tissue, potentially even via traveling the vagus nerve, this important nerve that connects a lot of the organs of our bodies where viruses, for example, can get more easily into at first, like the gut, get into our brains over time. And then the viruses or the infections seed the amyloid plaque, which forms in response to their presence. So this is a huge paradigm shift. This team has actually shown that the same thing happens. The amyloid plaque forms in response to bacterial pathogens and even fungal pathogens that they use in their models. This is another image from Ben Reedhead's team, who is a really great group studying, again, the intersection of infection, chronic infection, and Alzheimer's disease at Aristotle State University. It's actually unpublished data, but he shared this image with me. They'll publish soon showing the cytomegalovirus, which is another herpes virus, concentrated inside, again, the plaques of brain tissue collected from people with Alzheimer's disease. And they're able to show that this accumulation of the cytomegalovirus is associated with a type of glial immune cell activation in the brain of certain Alzheimer's patients that's detrimental and a large driver of the Alzheimer's disease process. And so you're gonna see a lot of teams in the next years come out with data like this, positioning viruses right at the heart of Alzheimer's plaque formation.